Hello and welcome to Buffalo Trace Distillery here in Frankfort, Kentucky and welcome to Winter Cocktails with the Trace. My name is Emily Doss. I am the Distillery Events Assistant here at Buffalo Trace and also your host this evening. Today we are going to be making two specialty cocktails, one here at Buffalo Trace and one at our sister property, the Sazerac House in New Orleans. And we also have a special guest who is going to be pairing some food with our cocktails today. So we've got a whole lot of good things going on and we're really excited that you're here joining us today. Of course, we encourage you to participate at home and we hope that you share your cocktail creations with us on social media, on Instagram and Facebook, and you can tag us at Buffalo Trace Distillery with the hashtag cocktails with the trace. We will be giving away a prize from our Buffalo Trace Distillery gift shop to one lucky winner, and that winner will be selected on Monday. So post your pictures, tag us in those pictures, and we will be selecting that winner on Monday. So as we move forward, we are going to jump into our first cocktail, but remember you can always follow along on the recipe on our website, buffalotracedistillery.com slash events. So our first cocktail today is the Buffalo Sour. So in that cocktail, we wanted something gearing up for the Valentine's Day weekend. This is a cocktail that you can drink with your gal pals for Valentine's Day or share it with someone special for Valentine's Day as well. It does feature Buffalo Trace bourbon, which is not only a great bourbon on the rocks, but a great mixing bourbon as well. So we're really excited to start this cocktail. So let's get into it. The few things you're gonna need to make this cocktail, typical shaker, jigger, your bar spoon, and then for our ingredients, of course, Buffalo Trace bourbon, some simple syrup, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and then a dry red wine, and our choice today is the Gallo Cabernet Sauvignon. So, we're gonna get started. We are going to add some ice into our shaker. I like to add quite a bit of ice because we're gonna shake it up nice and good. And we're also going to add ice into our rocks glass. We're gonna chill this rocks glass down so it's nice and cold for our beverage. A Little bit more. All right. For our freshly squeezed lemon juice, you can use a couple different things. Today I am using <coughs> A citrus press. You could also use a juicer or your hands. So for our lemon juice we are going to need about one ounce. So I'm going to take this citrus press, squeeze that straight into my jigger. Nice good squeeze there. And that's going to go straight into our shaker. Next, we're going to need two ounces of Buffalo Trace bourbon. Beautiful. And then, last but not least here, three-fourths ounce of simple sugar or simple syrup, which is equal parts water and sugar. You can make that at home, pick it up at your store. Either way, works great. Next, we're going to shake it up nice and good. Perfect. And we're going to strain that into our rocks glass. Beautiful. Now, the fun part about this cocktail is it has a layer. This is going to sound very complicated, but it's very easy as long as you take it nice and slow. We're going to take our red wine pour it right over the back of our bar spoon, and it's gonna rest right on top of our cocktail. Nice and slow, easy does it. It's gonna be about half an ounce, or honestly, until you really think your cocktail looks beautiful, that's usually when I stop. Just enough color to make that beautiful layer right on top of your cocktail. And that is our Buffalo Sour. Now we are going to introduce our special guest, Tim Niddle. Hi, Tim. How are Hi, you? Emily. And cheers. Let's cheers. take a drink here. Yeah. 
Mm. Oh yeah, that's great. That is really, really good. Very much enjoying that. Thank yes, you. Yes, of course. You're welcome. Uh, so again, my name is Tim Niddle. Uh, I own a company called Distilled Living. I've been in the bourbon industry for a little over a dozen years. And through my company, we offer uh, bourbon tastings, education, consulting, bourbon events, both virtual and in person as we're able to do so. I'm also adjunct professor of bourbon studies at nearby Midway University. And I was recently appointed as the first ever bourbon ambassador for Churchill Downs and the Matt Wynn Steakhouse up at that property. And I love bourbon, I love bourbon cocktails, I love exploring flavors. One of the things that's so great about this cocktail is you have so many different flavors to work with. You can see mm. it in the layers here. We've got the bourbon itself, we've got the sweet, we've got this, the brightness and the acidity and the citrus of the lemon. And then we have got this earthy, fruity, and a little mm. bit of spicy character from the red wine on top. So our first pairing, we're going to do a little bit of cheese. Now, normally you use a, a drier style cheese when you're working with bourbon, but here, because of the acid that that lemon has brought, we're going to be able to work with a softer cheese, like a mozzarella. But we can expand on our flavors a little bit more even with the red wine. That's going to allow us to work with an earthier style cheese, like a fresh goat cheese. Um, and we can build this up into a little kind of a sophisticated little appetizer without doing any cooking, just with assembly and just with ingredients you can get at your local grocery store. So we're going to use a tomato and basil cracker for the base. And that surprisingly works really, really well. This is an unusual combination that you're not going to see a lot, but the basil pairs beautifully with both the bourbon and the red wine. Um, it's a surprising and delightful thing to try. To that, we're going to add our goat cheese, and then we're going to add a little bit of spicy honey. And this mm. is really fun to work with. The sweetness uh, is going to pair beautifully against that acid again. Um, and, but because we have, we have a lot of complex flavors and we do have a lot of sweetness back and forth, um, that spiciness is going to um, accentuate and, but not overwhelm against the sweetness. So that's going to be easy, easy to assemble. And let's talk about chocolate. Bourbon and chocolate is a natural combination. So bourbon and dark chocolate is always where I start. Yeah. But let's turn it up a little bit more. Let's find a dark chocolate with some candied ginger in it. Now, ginger is a, it is a beautiful flavor against bourbon, especially a bourbon with a little bit of rye in it like Buffalo Trace. Um, and so just, you could stop just there. Dark chocolate, candied ginger, that's a great combination. But because we have so many flavors here, I want to try to find something that elevates it up that merges all of those flavors together. And that's going to be putting a little bit of wildflower honey or a uh, clover honey. It's going to give us some distinctive floral flavors, which actually are going to pair really well against the red wine on top. Uh, so there you go. Uh, you can start with some basic pairings, the goat cheese, uh, the dark chocolate with ginger, or you can elevate it out very easily at home. So Yeah, these look absolutely delicious. And I think this cocktail and this simple things you can put together is a great way to add some spice and creativity to all of our guests at home and can really make this their own Valentine's Day weekend. So we're actually going to pivot here a little bit and we're going to move and over to our sister property, the Sazerac House, over to Matt Ray, who is one of our experienced ambassadors. And he is going to walk us through one of the traditional Mardi Gras cocktails, the bourbon milk punch. Take it away, Matt. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Ray here at the Sazerac House in downtown New Orleans, Louisiana. Today we're making an adopted classic New Orleans cocktail, perfect for holidays, carnival, or Christmas. This is a bourbon milk punch. To make this drink, you just need a few things. It's super easy. You need a shaker tin set, a Hawthorne strainer, you need a couple of jiggers, a glass with ice, and a grater for the garnish. The ingredients that you'll need to make this are Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon, some nutmeg, a little bit of vanilla extract, whole milk, and some simple syrup. So without further ado, let's go ahead and make this drink. First off, I'm going to take my Buffalo Trace bourbon. I'm going to do two ounces in one of my shaker tins. Pour that right in. I'm going to do an ounce and a half of whole milk. Here's the thing is that if you're worried about calories, you can use skim milk or 2%. The problem is that it won't be as rich and full bodied as whole milk requires. So if you can save it for a special occasion or a luxury or for holidays or carnival and whole milk will be perfect. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. This is true to its name, simple. It is equal parts sugar and water. And last but not least, 
One of the favorite additions, especially in New Orleans, is just a touch of pure vanilla extract. All right. So in one of my shaker tins, I've already got plenty of ice. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump this in and we're gonna give it a shake. If you're making this at home, I always make sure that these are sealed. I give it a pop, palm down, palm down, shake out and in and that way it won't explode all over your kitchen. And we're gonna shake this really hard to make it light and fluffy and airy and delicious for about nine or 10 seconds. Okay, and, okay, go. You don't have to do it with this rhythm, but it doesn't hurt. All right. Hawthorne strainer with a little springs on it. And you're gonna pour that over some fresh ice. Cool. And last but not least, as a garnish, take some fresh nutmeg and a little microplane or a grater and grate that right over the top. The wonderful thing about fresh nutmeg is that it is so aromatic that you can smell it from a room away. And every time you bring it to your lips to take a sip, you get this whiff of these fresh holiday spices uh, that just really round out this drink. Cool. So you've got a New Orleans holiday adopted classic, the bourbon milk punch. This drink has existed in some shape, form, or fashion going back to colonial England. And when you hear punch, you may think of bright red colors or fruit juices, but this punch predates all of those punches, or at least in a different vein. So this probably was made with brandy in New Orleans until bourbon started coming down the Mississippi River from Kentucky. And before you knew it, bourbon overtook the popularity of brandy and bourbon milk punches have been a staple at brunch and carnival and holidays in New Orleans for years and years and years. It even appeared in a classic Creole holiday cookbook in some shape, form, or fashion ever since they started publishing them. So if you would like some more information about this cocktail and many others, you can go to the Buffalo Trace website at buffalotracedistillery.com to get more information about their free tours and their whiskeys. If you'd like more information about tours at the Sazerac House here in New Orleans or classic cocktails that we do here, you can go to sazeracouse.com to book your free tour. So again, my name's Matt Ray with the Sazerac House in downtown New Orleans. I hope you can visit us soon. Cheers and thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's great. Thank you so much, Matt. Tim, what do you have in store for us for pairing with this bourbon milk punch? Well, I love what Matt's put together here because I love milk punches. I think this is a whole category of cocktail that we don't see enough of. Um, and then this is a very different texture and a very different flavor from what we had before. So I want to play up those things. And really the nutmeg on top is giving us so much aromatic that it, we're really going to want to pair something more intense. Like I talked about earlier, I love the aged cheeses with bourbon. That's typically mm -hmm. my go-to. And that's what I want to go to here, um, especially a cave aged teeth, like this cave aged Gruyere that we have. That is going to have a lot of intensity and a lot of salt, and it's going to really pair well and not get lost underneath um, the, the sweetness um, of the milk punch. Um, so I was, that on its own. Oh yeah, that's delicious. There we go. It's so good. But just like before, we can elevate it just by constructing a very simple little appetizer. Again, no cooking required. Buy everything at your local grocery store. We're gonna start with the rosemary cracker on the bottom, a little prosciutto, some fig jam, and then that cave aged gruyere on top. And all of this, is salty except for the fig jam, which is why that's in there. That's gonna bring a sweetness and a texture and a depth um, that otherwise uh, we would be overwhelmed with the salt. And, but, but we have enough salt that we don't lose the flavor of the appetizers underneath mm. the kind of the thickness of the milk punch. So that's the direction that I wanna go here. And then we just gotta close it out with some, some Buffalo Trace bourbon balls. I mean, that's just Absolutely. the natural pairing, either with drinking it neat or drinking it in a milk punch. Absolutely. I mean, all of these are great and so simple. You can pick this up in your grocery store and it's just truly elevated the food and the cocktail together, which I love. Well, that pairs us up today with our two cocktails that we had. Um, please don't forget to share your cocktail creations with us on social media, tagging us on Facebook and Instagram at Buffalo Trace Distillery. 
along with the hashtag Cocktails with the Trace. And again, one lucky winner will receive a prize from the Buffalo Trace Distillery gift shop. And speaking of the gift shop, they've created these adorable gift sets that not only have all the things you need to make these cocktails that we've made today, but along with the recipe cards, this could be a cute little gift you pick up for your girlfriends, for someone special for this Valentine's Day. And you can also pick up those bourbon balls that we had paired with our cocktail here, all from our gift shop. You can pick these up curbside or in person. Also check out our website online. I do wanna thank Tim for coming in today. Of course, Matt down at the Sazerac house. And of course, you all at home. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Valentine's Day, happy Mardi Gras, and cheers to a beautiful weekend. Cheers. Mm.